Hi, I'm Carlene with Embroidery Library. You've probably noticed that when you open up an embroidery design file on your machine or in software, the colors seem a little off. In this video, we'll talk about why that happens and what to do to make sure you're stitching a design in the intended colors. Let's start with how we get from this to this. When we create embroidery designs, we have a huge palette of colors we can choose from. After we've created the design in a digitizing format, we save it into all the various file formats that embroidery machines can actually read. The thing about these formats is they're all different in terms of the color palettes they use. And a couple of them technically don't contain any color information at all. So depending on the format, you're going to see different colors for the same design when you look at it in different formats. For example, here's this design in PES, HUS, and DST formats. You can see that the colors look a little strange on the embroidery machine too, and they're even different for what we just saw in the software. Now, it's easy to tell something is wrong when the colors are really bizarre, but what you have to watch out for is when the colors are close to the original, but not quite right. In a case like that, it might be easy to believe what you're seeing and not realize something's off until after you've stitched most of the design. For example, this hummingbird design looks mostly right at first glance, but the bright blue beak and feet are definitely different than the original. So, what can you do about this? If you want to use the exact colors we used, all you need to do is ignore your machine, ignore your software, and follow the color change sheet for that design on the site. You can get to the color change sheet from the designs page on the site or from your order history after you've purchased it. You can print out a copy to have next to you as you're stitching the design, and you can download a PDF to save in the folder with your design if you want to. This color change sheet lists the exact threads we used, so if you want to stitch out a design like we did, just follow this list and you'll be all set. And if you use a different thread brand than the one we use, you can visually match the color swatches on the color change sheet, or use the thread exchange tool on our site to find exact matches in our database. And there you have it. That's why your colors look strange and what you can do about it. What questions do you have about embroidery color changes? Let us know in the comments and we might cover them in a future video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more machine embroidery tips, tricks, and project instructions from Embroidery Library.